Hello and welcome to Lord Fenton Gaming Plays Borderlands Game Year Enhanced Edition. I'm your host Lord Fenton. In today's Borderlands Game Year Enhanced Edition video, we're going to dive into the first DLC called Zombie Island of Dr. Ned. Now, a real quick history lesson about the first uh, Borderlands DLC ever. Now, this one you're blasting a lot of zombies. Number one. Number two, unfortunately, there's only one fast travel in the DLC to get you out of it or to other uh, DLC locations. Now, this was uh, digital only at the time before they put it on DVD with uh, Mad Moxie. Then uh, Borderlands uh, Game Year Edition uh, video where they put all the uh, four DLC with the base game. Now, in order to get to each uh, DLC, you got to go to the fast travel system. We're going to be going to uh, Jacob's uh, Cove. That is how you officially start the DLC. So, what I'm going to do is select that location and then we'll let this uh, cool cutscene roll. I'll be back uh, afterwards. It was a dark and stormy night. Sheesh. On a distant corner of Pandora, where few men dare to tread. With the journey to find the elusive vault behind them, a fearless adventurer set off into the trees of... What's a tree? Oh, for the angel's sake. It's a plant that grows out of the ground really tall. Like this? No more interruptions. <clears throat> so, they set out into the trees of Jacob's Cove, a land very much ravaged and forgotten. Time. It was here that the scientist Dr. Ned, who is totally not Dr. Z from the last story at all, tried to help all of mankind, but ultimately caused very bad shit. That's a swear! Dude made zombies, okay? You're not the police of me. Pay attention. Okay, so some bad crap was happening, and it got really spooky. And this is when our story begins. Is any of this going to be true? Yes. Probably a lot of it. You're adopted. Greetings, misinformed zombie fodder. I am not affiliated with the Jacobs Corporation, but they packed me to tell people like you that they would appreciate some assistance with the overwhelming situation with the living impaired. I should warn you, though, that they'll suck your brain out of your cranial cavity like a crappuccino if you get too close. If you'd still like to help, I suggest you turn on the town's defenses. Otherwise, crappuccino. Toodles! Welcome to uh, Jacob's Cove and welcome to the most annoying claptrap in the entire game. Yes, the medical claptrap. That claptrap is seriously annoying. I might let you listen all on his annoyingness. It is seriously annoying. Just trust me. So we're going to be hunting zombies for most of this DLC. So we're going to kill some zombies right now. Well, that was a lot of zombies dead, and then 
why uh, I was killing him, this uh, match just did pop up. So our first objective is to uh, get to uh, Jacob's Cove, the uh, town hub, where you have to buy and sell junk there, or buy uh, ammunition. Yeah, already I got myself a nice uh, upgrade. This is good DLC so far. I really got a nice upgrade out of it, which is good. But still, you go to this hub right here. This is like your uh, hub for the entire DLC. Yeah, there's no uh, fast travel system except for one at the beginning. So you need to get out. You need to walk all the way back. Unfortunately, they didn't enhance that at all. So let's do this mission. Okay, that was not bad at all. Zombies susceptible to a uh, fire, especially with the SMG, made it perfect. So I'm gonna buy it and sell some junk. All right, here's the uh, plan for this area. We're gonna turn this uh, story mission in for the uh, DLC. However, afterwards, we're not gonna resume it quite yet because we're gonna actually do some side missions. I'm gonna try to do for this uh, Let's Play uh, DLC series is uh, keep to the uh, area except for the. Uh, Special one where you have to farm uh, brains. Yes, you saw a lot of brains drop. Well, guess what? Those do not count. You'll have, have to actually kill the uh, zombies during that said mission with it being uh, grabbed, the uh, mission. Otherwise, they will not count. Just trust me. You basically have to collect a lot of zombie brains for this mission series. I'm not going to do it in this video, so do not worry. Just trust me. So now we got ourselves a story mission for the next area. However, what we're going to do first is uh, grab some echoes and farm some of those uh, corpse eaters. Yeah, we're going to be seriously farming those. So we're going to grab the missions first though. So this is the missions right here. See, Hank Reese, that's the echo one. And the rack one, and that's uh, pumpkin head. That's later on is pumpkin head. So we're going to deal with that much, much later. But first we're going to do uh, missing uh, Hank Reese. I'm going to be honest with everybody, the experience here is not bad at all, it is uh, great. So we're going to grab the first Echo for uh, Hank Reese. Yeah, you're going to notice a familiar uh, hat. You're going to see why in a few moments. Dearest Anna, I've arrived at Jacob's Cove, and you'll be pleased to know it seems a jolly and lively old town. We were betting on whether I know or not you survive and make it and the back. Children will be I had three to but one, it's you'd only be for a few cycles. Man, the pay is just the too generous to pass really up. I'll work hard here and be back to you and the girl soon. My brother will take good care of you in the meantime. Love, Hank.
Now that hat uh, Hank Reese was wearing during the Echo Transmissions was the macaroni hat. Now those uh, hat what is a skin on all four uh, characters. So if you create a uh, uh, Borderlands uh, one character in this game right here, and instead of selecting normal skin, you get to select that skin. My only disappointment was they didn't uh, do the uh, Borderlands two and uh, three heads, or even the prequel ones. But oh well. So now what we're gonna do is get some more echoes and kill some more uh, zombies at the same time. They're a good experience, by the way. Really good. about a nice homestead in the doll headland. Think on it. Missing you, Hank. P.S. Tell Sally that I love the hat she sent. I wear it every day. The men tease me a bit, but they don't know the joy that a child's love can bring. Aww. Now, real quick, I am going to be farming the uh, Corpse Eaters. And also, do not take the uh, Lord Fitton Gaming uh, bad shortcut. You will die. In fact, I died twice. But still, this is one of the uh, areas for the Corpse Eaters. I advise not to kill any or all uh, Corpse Eaters until you get the uh, uh, side mission right here. So, I'm going to kill some for some eggs first.
right, we have to go further or uh, by Dr. Ned's uh, office. However, there's a third echo. I'll post timestamps in the uh, comment sections and in the description to make things a lot more uh, easier. Dearest Anna, I, I've been noticing some strange things at the mill of late. Many workers seem to be falling very ill. What is strange is that we all had our checkups just last week and were given a clean bill of health and a vitamin from the company's physician, Dr. Ned. He's doing everything in his power, but there have been some deaths. Do not worry. I will, as always, be careful. I'll send an echo again soon. All my love, Hank. Alright, that was not bad. That was more eggs right there said and done. Third echo has been listened to. Now we're going to get the uh, fourth. And we're also going to look for more uh, corpse eaters to kill and zombies too. Alright, I will say this, phase walk is going to be extremely useful for this DLC. Now if you put skill points in the phase walk that makes you uh, really go faster every time you phase walk, you're going to love speeding through this DLC. Otherwise, you got your own two feet and you got to walk. Yep, this is one of the uh, flaws that um, Gearboss Software uh, did for the first DLC. It was the first one, however, they forgot to add... Um, fast travel systems. I should add one in this town right here in Jacob's Cove and they should add more in each of the zones. Instead you gotta do a long walk. But we're gonna get the uh, fourth echo right now for this Hank Reese uh, side mission. And uh, watch the echo and his uh, macaroni uh, hat. Dr. Ned gave me the following awards this year. Most effective clock trap in life threatening situations. Hottest performer of mid 80s breakdance fighting. Master Orator and Best Kisser. Anna, things have gone from bad to worse. There have been rumors of people seeing the dead walk. At first, these tales were laughed off at the saloon, but, but now people talk in the hushed whispers of the truth. They say that those who come in contact with the dead are always the first to be ill and are, as such, the first to seek the help of Dr. Ned. The doctor assures me that he's making progress on a cure. I, for one, believe him, and it is only three more weeks till we are reunited. Kiss the girls for me. Love, Hank. So now we are going to get the fifth and final echo, and if we do need any more uh, corpse eaters to kill, we're going to do that uh, too. So what we're going to do right now is go towards that uh, fifth and final echo and kill some uh, zombies on the way. Alright, this wasn't bad at all. We're going to get the last echo. We're going to get it done right here. And after that, and the uh, corpse here one, we're going to turn both in. Yeah, we're going to do uh, two uh, turns at once before we head to the new zone. So here's the fifth one. Beloved Anna, it is no longer rumors. Some curse has been set upon us here at Jacob's Cove. The dead are rising from their graves and are ravenous with a hunger for flesh. All work has stopped. And we're fighting for our lives. But fear not. Dr. Ned believes there's a way to stop the horror. I have volunteered to allow him to test an antidote on me. <laughs> it's the Skags, my dear. The filthy Skags will be our salvation. The doctor says they're immune to the ailment. I'm presently on my way to get this treatment at the hospital outside of town. I know, I know it will be a success, and we will be together again shortly. Pray for me. Okay, Skag DNA and yeah, new experimental drug and the theme of this DLC. I know what went down, but I am not going to spoil it for uh, new people to the Borderlands series. I'm going to leave that for my future Let's Plays, but first we're going to kill these corpse eaters.
All right, that is two birds with one stone down, and we're going to turn them both in right now. We are done with that. Yes, we are. So we're going to turn that in, and then we'll go to the uh, next zone for this uh, DLC. Yeah, we're going to do that. Now, the next zone has an additional uh, side mission. I am not going to do that for this uh, video. I'm going to focus more on uh, the uh, other one and uh, finding where uh, Dr. Uh, Ned is. Yeah, that's what this uh, video is about, is uh, doing the uh, first about 40 minutes or so of the uh, side missions and the uh, story missions for uh, Dr. Ned's uh, DLC. So we got ourselves some nice rewards there. They're all right if you're in that kind of mod for Sirens, but... Now, I uh, marked the uh, side mission uh, Pumpkin Head. That's the first one we're going to do in the uh, next zone up ahead. Now, get used to this hub right here of uh, Jacob's uh, Cove. This is the uh, central point of the uh, entire uh, DLC. There are some zones that are really long. I mean long, and you have to walk back all the way there. That's the uh, bad news. Now, great news is, is um, however, is you get to kill a lot of things on the way. If you need uh, experience points to a certain point, then you're going to do fine. So I'm going to try to rush towards this... Uh, Zone in for a hollows and that's where we are going exactly. There's a side mission uh, We have there's another one in there. That's gonna be for another video. So I might just uh, fast forward on uh, some of that side mission there I'll explain more in the next video, but for now Enough with my rambling. I'm going to zone in right here to the new uh, Zone of hollows in yeah, we're gonna be facing some more uh, different type of zombies There's a lot of zombie variants in this DLC, so you get to see a whole bunch of them. Alright, there we go. We are there. We discover Outpost Ned Swamp. And we're in Hollow's End. First thing we're going to do is summon Pumpkin Head. Yeah, this is very simple. Light the two uh, jack-o'-lanterns and go for the quartz, but we're going to go kill some zombies.
Alright, the good news is we got a lot of zombies killed. There's a whole bunch of them. Uh, I almost halfway to a level 37, which is nice. Now I'm going to do is uh, light the lanterns and kill Pumpkinhead. Yeah, we're going to kill him and I'm going to show everybody what it looks like. So wish me luck. Pumpkinhead is down for the count along with the uh, loot uh, zombie, the giant one. That was a nice curveball, I will admit. Alright, revolvers. That's uh, boo, boo, boo. Well, I'm going to sell them all because I have a revolver that is uh, legendary. In other words, it regenerates the bullets. And if I do need uh, more bullets using a revolver, then I'll uh, be sure to use that. But first, I'm get to the uh, vendor and sell some uh, junk. But we have to kill some zombies on the way. Alright, so we clear them all out. I'm going to go inside here. I'm going to offload some loot. It's right here in the supplies. That's full of zombies uh, nearby. Alright, that was a lot of zombies and a lot of loot I did sell. That was good. That's the good news. Now, bad news is I am not going to hit the uh, side mission in this video. That will be for another video. That's the first thing I am going to do is that. But for now, we're going to track down Dr. Ned and uh, contact him. Yeah, he does owe us some answers. There's a whole bunch of zombies, a whole bunch of uh, corpse eaters, and even the uh, bandit population has become zombies. Yeah, that's a ton of explanation right there automatically, folks. So we're going to have to get some explanation going down. 
So we're going to get ourselves on the way to uh, Dr. Ned right now and get some answers. Now this part of the uh, mission is heavily full of action so I'm going to start the whole sequence with uh, Dr. Ned and I'll uh, be back uh, definitely when the coast is clear and everything is uh, safe for now. Sure as a trottle in. Well, hang on, man. Going as fast as these old hands want to go. all fancy and waste my time. Get on the damn thing. I probably went about this all the wrong way. I'm a doctor. I make people better. I just wanted everyone to be okay. I made the zombies. I was never as good as my totally not made up brother Zed, and we're totally different people. I need a drink. I trust you come bearing good news and, uh, or brains. Well, 
If you want to help a decrepit old man who created an end-of-the-world epidemic, you'll have to head to the old hospital past the graveyard near Jacob's Cove. You'll need to find a sample of an antidote I was working on. I based it on skag DNA, since they don't seem to have undead tendencies. Get the sample and bring it to my claptrap in town. Oh, almost forgot. The gate key to the hospital grounds was lost a long time ago, but there is a more spooky way in. Just look for the old gravestone on the beach that doesn't belong. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm going to give everybody an update. I tried to run away just like Resident Evil 2 with the zombies. Nah, that didn't kind of work. They all came anyways to this location. You see a whole bunch of brains and uh, weapons left over. Well, what happened was Dr. Ned's uh, lift didn't work. I had to hold off uh, the area. Yeah, zombies kept on spawning and spawning. And what happened was is I had to kill them all. And they're all dead. And I spoke with Dr. Ned and he said he was responsible. So hopefully it does fix it, but we're going to take the shortcut on the way out. Check this chest out right here. Now, if you decide to reload the uh, save and turn the uh, missions or uh, visit the uh, one guy who uh, will give you a special uh, brains mission, I'm not going to reveal that name of that person. In fact, it's going to be a surprise for the uh, next video. So as I said before, you go this route right here. There is a red chest. If you're kind of hoping for it, I say anarchy, yeah. I hope you do get it. If not, oh well. But for now, what I am going to do is zone in here and turn this pumpkin head uh, side mission here. So we're going to do that uh, first. All right, there you go. We're back at Jacob's Cove, the central hub of the entire DLC. Now there'll be some more uh, missions to uh, grab. Actually, one mission to grab. It's going to be for the uh, next video, so I am preparing for that. But first, we're going to kill some more uh, zombies. Fearless Zombie Killer! New missions are available at the Jacob's Cove Bounty Board! Alright, after killing some more zombies and did some uh, serious turn-ins, in the next video I'm going to do a side and story mission and try to resume much as I can for this uh, DLC. Now I am also going to show everybody the uh, Zombie Brains uh, mission series. Well, that is it for my Borderlands Game of Year Enhanced Edition video. The uh, Zombie Island of Dr. Ned, this is uh, Lord Fenton signing off. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.